hello everybody you pieces of trash <laughs> if you watched the last playthrough you understand but we are embracing we have become one with the trash lore of the bellabog city we are no longer the trail blazers we are the trash blazers okay i'm trash you're trash we are one with trash okay stay trashy anyways we are back with more honkai star rail i spent the entire last stream making it to bellabog finally and spending the entire time immersing myself digging through the trash dumpster diving making a damn fool of myself in public going through all of the tasty lore the tasty trash lore which was incredibly humorous a lot of personality a lot of humor a lot of passion i feel like a lot of like playfulness very interesting flavor text about this place it's a very interesting place you got people living in the sewers fuck you and your sun cake michael i do what i want i'm the main character you got crazy ass people in the back alleyways acting up doing some sketchy shady stuff might i ask why you're talking to yourself you got people writing terrible love letters that are getting thrown in the trash. I'm done reading that. I already know where that's going. I'm dumpster diving for freaking moral support and like moral coins and stuff. Like I'm stealing wishing coins out of the fountain. I am going fishing for 101 coins. I'm acting up in this place. I swear to God, it's been a blast. It's been fun. It's been great so far. And I want to continue through, see where things go. I want to continue with the main storyline. We followed up with Gepard. We met Kakolia and Bro briefly and we learned the situation of the current Stellaron that is on this planet and how it's affecting things regarding the antimatter legion and the eternal freeze situation that's going on this planet is governed by the aeon of preservation klopoth so i feel like all of that is going to kind of facilitate itself to where the main trailblazer gets involved and will potentially get another path maybe a path of preservation which would be pretty cool i'm going to be continuing on the main story there is a little bit of housekeeping that i want to get you guys caught up on first of all like i said i was serious when i said this by the way i'm no longer the trash can i'm the trash man <laughs> my lifelong childhood dream of becoming a garbage man is finally here despite me picking the female trailblazer we are no longer the trailblazer we are the trash blazer and i will accept nothing else that is what we are going to be embracing ourselves as moving forward i hope you guys will go along this journey with me second of all there's a bookstore here actually i missed this yesterday there are a couple of books here and i'm basically basically accumulating a lot of the books I might do a reading stream or I might go through some of these reading sessions on my own time just because I don't want the lore like oh non oh my god did that achievement really just say non pulp fiction a pun to the actual pulp fiction number one and pulp being like pulp in orange juice oh my god collect 20 readable books in Bellabog non pulp fiction what a trash freaking achievement dude <laughs> This place is really trashy, bro. I swear to God. I love it, though. I love the creativity. So the next thing we're actually going to jump into, believe it or not, I think I missed the trash can. I could be wrong. Well, I got a treasure chest over here. So if you guys haven't gotten this one yet, come over here and double check just to make sure. But there's a trash can right here. And I don't know if I interacted with this one because it has like the little gold shimmer. We still have some unforetold lore or maybe this trash can just randomly spawned. Who knows? Let's see. A burning smell invades your nostrils as you approach the trash trash can this trash can seems to have been set on fire damn dude the entire trash is deformed with a layer of dark scorched ash-like substance coating the bottom in the light you see a particle floating softly almost dancing damn is that it it's just a trash can it's not just a trash can okay it's more than a trash can it's my friend I've bonded with the trash of this place. So with all of that interesting lore and hullabaloo nonsense out of the way, we are officially going to get underway with continuing the story. I have to go to these three locations, the Neverwinter Workshop, the literal like goth grand hotel and the Everwinter yeah. Monument. So we're going to start right here just because it's the closest spot and we'll see what's up. Uh, that's the alley that Jepard mentioned. The one contaminated by the Fragmentum, right? Uh-huh. I can't believe how close it is to the city center. Okay, so this might be be a combat sequence they hadn't identified it i bet all the shops and hotels in the vicinity would have had to close down by now move back this is your final warning 
Oh, sir, you better watch out. But my proof of property is inside. I don't have any. Damn, they're like, show us your identification. It's in my house. Well, we can't let you go there. The fragmentum has already corroded this block. Damn. You can make a property retrieval request to the architects, but only Silvermane guards are permitted to enter here. Damn, this guy's house got swallowed up by the abyss. I can't believe fragmentum corrosion has spread into the city. No wonder there are so many soldiers stationed there. I really like the regal music. It's a very different vibe. This world really is in dire straits. It sure is. But at least we're here. Once we seal the Stellaron, they can get back to the good life. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, hopefully the Stellaron fixes everything to that extent. Please try to understand, sir. Backwater Pass has become very dangerous. We're just here for your safety. I don't know if all of the trash cans reset their like gold shimmer, but that trash can to the right there has a gold shimmer. So I don't know if I got that one. The trash can lore is the gift that keeps on giving in this game. I swear to God. If I can't get my proof of property, it doesn't matter how safe I am. All right, hold on. Pause champ. What's going on over here? Wow, I how did I not get this one? You smell a strong stench as you approach the trash can, almost as if there were a strong, twisted, dark purple aura surrounding it protesting in no uncertain terms no living entities permitted be it as it may you're gonna open it technically am i a living entity i'm literally a nuclear bomb i have a freaking stellaron inside of me nothing's killing me bro open it while your astonished companions look on you hold your breath and proceed towards the can like a soldier charging into a hail of bullets wait why are you so interested in rooting through every trash can in the city what do you have to gain <laughs> Enough of that charge! You decided to open the lid of the can with a determined mind. At your first glance, you saw that strange sticky thing. Ew. Suddenly, like an old monk sitting in concentrated introspection, you reach out and grab it. However, you fail to reach enlightenment given that your companions just ran for cover holding their noses. I'm literally dumpster diving for garbage! Am I trailblazing? Am I doing it right, Hoyoverse? Pleasant looking trash, trash cans actual trash worthless trash better carry some with you some say that in the deep retreats of the galaxy an invisible portal will open for those carrying a piece of trash <laughs> the gods are gonna look upon me with favor bro i'm telling you trash is love trash is life let's go let me pass I'm not afraid to die. Sir? I've lost everything. Newspaper seller. Extra, extra, read all about it. Fresh off the press. Trash master is challenged by the trash king. Who's gonna win? Place your bets here. Read all about it. Oh my God, literally read all about it. I'm gonna buy all these books. Oratorio Supreme Guardian Premier Spectacular. So that has something to do with uh, Cocolia. Rye bread soda iceberg. Oh, that's a recipe for desserts. Okay, okay. Yo, more books right here. Make sure you get them from the newspaper seller. <gasps> it's Pella. Wow, look at the carved ice. It feels perfect for this. Yo, Pella's right home. there with the kids. Whatever it's made of, it can't be ice. I guess you're right. It's actually pretty warm in the city. Hey, what's with all the children over there? Oh. Should we go and take a look? Sure. Oh my God, Pella's right here. So let me introduce myself. I'm the intelligence officer for the Silvermane Guards. Ooh. And a temporary guide for the A Journey Through Bellabug's History Program. Oh, her name's Pella. My name is Pelageya Sergeyevna. Pelageya Sergeyevna. That's a Snezhnaya name if I've ever heard one. <laughs> But you can call me Pela. Pela for short. Yes, Miss Pela. Aw, look at all the. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna join in. Yes, Miss Pela. And perhaps the grown ups among us could <laughs> refrain from acting like children. <laughs> Bro, why am I getting roasted in this game? Am I not allowed to have fun? I want to look at trash. I get judged for it. I want to go freaking fountain dipping for other people's money. I get judged for it. I'm trying to play along with the kids and have a good time. And I'm getting called out. Okay, guys. Take a look over here. Damn, bro. This is Everwinter Monument. No fun allowed. It was erected to commemorate the mighty architects. Okay. The architects are followers of the Eon Klopoth. It was they that foresaw crisis, built up our walls, mm. and established Bellabog, preserving the spark of human civilization. Even today, they are still tending to the city. All right, so the architects are basically the builders. They foresaw the calamity or the disaster or the destruction, and they got hard at work building defenses. Everwinter Monument is made up of two parts. Oh. A gear that symbolizes knowledge and industrial strength. And then the ice. And huge ice crystals that 
symbolize the eternal breeze. <laughs> These two symbols are bound together, the gear restricting the ice. Ah. It represents the unyielding spirit of the architects in the face of nature's barbarity. I like that. The technology is holding back the elements, which is basically what the architects did for the city. Pretty cool. Any questions? Will this be on the test? Pella really came for my neck, bro. Yeah, this is really cool. I like this monument. This shit looks pretty dope. Never winter workshop. Hey, didn't Japard say there'd be a show here? Yes, he did. He said you can sometimes catch oh. an outdoor performance. He did say that. Sometimes being the operative word. All right, Don Hung. Don't have to be a killjoy. Darn. I wanted to see one. Oh, I'd been wondering. You see that heater over there? Yeah. Why do they keep it outdoors? This city is so weird. Hmm. Do you know what this reminds me of? Again, I can't help but think of Atlas in Ruby, like Mantle, because Mantle also had heating units outside to keep the snow from piling up and freezing them over. So whenever it rained, it was because like the heating was melting the snow that was falling. And that's what it reminds me of. Normally, you'd want a heater inside a building, right? Well, maybe it's so cold that it's repelling the... Yeah, exactly. It's repelling the eternal freeze. They're all over the if place, so, too. I'm not sure mighty is the right word for these architects. Damn. Tiny heaters are no <gasps> use against the Stellaron disaster. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. It's Serval. She has to be related to Japard if they're both in the same place at the same time. I swear to God. You guys sure have a lot to say about that broken heater. Oh, shit. Oh, Ooh. wow. She's cool. I just noticed her, like, lightning bolt tattoo on her hip right there. Her design is so sick. Hello. Hi there. The name's Serval. I'm the owner of this workshop. Oh, so Japard, like, shouted her out, kinda. If you got any broken equipment lying around, you can always come find me. Though I can't guarantee I'll be interested in fixing it. Dude, I love her design. She looks so badass. Oh, uh, we're okay. I was just curious about the heater. Curious? Hmm. About the heater? It's just a standard Geomero radiator. You uh, can find them anywhere in the administrative district. Okay. We only just got here. Everything's new to us. Only just got here? Oh, yeah. By the way, we're trailblazers. Ah, I figured it out. I heard a loudmouth guard say that a group of outsiders had met with Cocolia. Uh-oh. You must be them? Damn, we're outsiders? What an honor. Where are my manners? We can talk about heaters all day if you like. <laughs> Let's have a chat. Okay. Okay. Serval, finally. Nice, nice, nice. There's a little collectible right here. I'm going to grab that. Message for new repairer. Oh, also, yeah, apparently this heater is broken. Extending this heating network across the towering citadel must be a huge effort for the designer. Yeah, meanwhile, we're over here talking trash about the infrastructure of this place when we don't even know a lick about it. This is a quaint little spot. Toolbox. You cannot tell the functioning of the items inside the cabin based on the silhouette. Oh, look at this place. A bunch of tools. Got a protractor some rulers scrolls books you got the works here my god oh, i love it a lot of personality here the heater you saw is just a standard geomero radiator they may not look like much but they're a real lifeline to the people if we didn't have a reliable way of keeping warm bellabog would long since have become a dead city mm -hmm. both above and below the surface below oh actually i think i remember they showed that in the trailer like there's like a mining area underground i think that's this planet above and beneath the surface you didn't know? Bellabog is structured like two big Yeah, I remember now. The overworld is responsible for administration and trade. <laughs> Well, the underworld is responsible for energy supply and resource extraction. Oh my God, bro. This is literally Atlas. Atlas is the overworld and Mantle is the underworld. Mantle is in mines, like harvesting all the rare minerals, all the rare dust and like resources for then Atlas to just come and take it. I wouldn't be surprised if the underworld people hate the overworld people. However... Due to an order that was given many years ago, nobody has moved between the oh. overworld and the underworld in a long time. <laughs> that can't be good. Ah, I shouldn't be talking about this. Pretend I never said anything. This world is literally fire and ice. Like, above ground is frozen, and then underground is warm. Both elements are at work here. What is Geomarrow? It's an ore. A special energy resource. Whether it's keeping the city warm or keeping our counters ticking, everything runs on Geomero. All right. Geomero grows beneath the surface of the planet, and specialist underworld mining teams are there to extract it. Transport lines shuttle it up to the surface. In the overworld, we use the same lines to ship surface goods and aid down to the underworld. Bro, this is literally Atlas and Mantle. For any Ruby fans, you'll know what I'm talking about. Why is the heater outside? Isn't it just like cooking food over an open flame? Oh. If the house is a pot, then the heater is 
use the stove it rests on. <laughs> I guess. That's an interesting metaphor. When she puts it like that, it actually starts to make sense. Yeah, interesting. Thanks for your answers. No sweat. This is your first time in Bellabog. I just want you to feel some of the warmth the city has to offer. Oh, I'm feeling warm, all right. The trash is warming my heart with every second. Hey, seeing as there's nothing on your plate just now, want to help me fix up this machine? Oh. Just a bit of manual labor. You might find it interesting. Yo, if I'm not getting compensated, what's going on here? Sure, we're not busy. Great. Then let me give you a demonstration first. Oh, this right here? Repair. Dude, they're literally hitting me with the puzzle. Magnetor heal logical fluid threshold. That's a mouthful. Rotate the modules to adjust the circuit and direct electrical currents from the power system to the endpoint. Repairs are complete when all endpoint circuits are connected to the current. The edges of fixed modules will appear red when selected. All right, this looks pretty simple. This looks fun, actually. Let's see. All right, so we got this, this. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait. There we go. We're gaming. Challenge complete. I think somebody asked yesterday or today, is this place Fontaine? And they have video recorders here. This actually feels like a cross now. Actually, when I think about it, this entire room is like inventor, tinkerer, innovator kind of thing. It's almost like a cross between Fontaine and Snezhnaya the more I think about it now. That's huge. Video recorder. An old VCR machine. You do not dare imagine what it might show you. Wow, this is so cool. It's like Santa's workshop. <laughs> Nice. You guys are pretty handy. You picked that up in no time. Want to be my assistants? Average pay, but I'm a good boss. Yo, Santa Claus lives in Snezhnaya, and this is his workshop. Calling it right now. Sure, why not? <laughs> Do you just say yes to everything? If it pays well, yes, March 7th, okay? I'm out here to chase that bag. I was only kidding. Just a joke. I don't find the humor in lying to me. I'm really questioning the integrity of these people. I'm getting roasted. I'm getting publicly shamed. I'm getting lied to in 4K. Well, I'd better carry on here. Why not have a better look around? Bruh. My workshop will always be open to you. And your wallets, of course. No shame in this girl's game. She's like, if you come back here, bring money. Okay, we got to go to the hotel now. All right. Yo, let's see the Grand Goth Hotel. So tough. Tired. Ugh. I just want to put my head on a pillow and drift off. March 7th, what did you do today? Seems like the first day of our trailblazing expeditions is always pretty eventful, huh, Don Hung? Yeah. That's because you've got too much energy. True. I mean, the trash can lore took it out of me, I'll be honest. All right, let's see, let's see. Hotel lobby. This is like a lullaby theme right here. We're about to go to bed. <laughs> Wow, what a beautiful lobby. It's gonna be soft mattresses and cushiony pillows tonight. Holy shit, the echo is incredible too. Wanna have a pillow fight later? Huh? Huh? I bet they're stuffed with goose feathers. It literally sounds like she's screaming. <laughs> like, lower your voice. March, earlier in Klipoth Fort. Stop, I know what you're gonna say. March, you said too much back there. March, <laughs> you shouldn't reveal our goal to people we don't trust. Damn. Meanwhile, you guys were beating around the bush and speaking in riddles. But check it out. Seems like we landed with a pretty sweet deal, right? Mm. We get the royal treatment, rooms in a beautiful hotel, and the full support of the locals. True. As far as trailblazing goes, this is smooth as heck. Yeah, that's foreshadowing. That means something crazy is gonna happen down the road. That's not what I was going to say. All right, spit it out then. <laughs> Earlier in Klipoth Fort, oh. were you paying attention to the Supreme Guardian? Oh, did he pick up on like that random voice that was like talking to her? Dude, these two have big Nora and Ren vibes also from Ruby. Their recent like back and forth interaction is so Ren and Nora, it's ridiculous. Even their color schemes. Uh, yeah, of course. This isn't my first expedition, you know. My powers of perception are sharper than the sharpest blade. A dull blade maybe i knew there was something up with her the trailblazer noticed something up with her she seemed normal to me mm -mm. she was kind of harsh at first but she turned out to be a nice reasonable lady march 7th the sweet summer child despite being found in march which is spring although it felt like she was looking through me mm. as in i know she was speaking to us but it seemed like her gaze was fixed on something far away. Oh boy. I had a similar feeling, almost as if we weren't the only people in the room. Yeah, there was like that weird talking voice. I don't know if she's communicating with the Aeon or if that's something completely different. Uh, do you have to put it like that? That's scary. Don't worry, March. It must have been the invisible man. What invisible well, man? There's no way 
he'd get past Don Hung's sharp eyes. Perhaps I'm too sensitive. Huh. She did promise to help us. Just hope she keeps her word. Mm-hmm. Let's get some rest. We need to save our energy for the discussions tomorrow. Alrighty. Oh, there's a lot of people here. Oh, bro, this is literally... Goth, is that you? Where's your son? Where's Marvin? Are you staying with us or will you try our special afternoon tea? I would like to reserve a room. Sure, please register at the reception. This is where I grew up. I wouldn't say I know all about the administrative district, but I do know about the history and goings on around these parts fairly well. Just let me know if you're interested. Hold on, let me see what he knows. I want to ask. Special guests? Let's see, any special guests? Well, it depends on how you define special guests. Many guests have stayed here. Indeed, there are a lot of stories. For example, a lady from a rich family escaped her wedding and jumped out the window on the second floor in her pajamas no one has ever heard of her since what the heck there was a couple who were theater celebrities they appeared as though they were in love but they stayed in different rooms when they were on their honeymoon you sound like crazy freaking relationship scenarios and there was a lady that would always stay in a single room when her family was at work she was always drawing in her room and she would cry every time she finished drawing i wonder what she's been going through it happens a lot in our industry we always encounter weird things especially when it's been in the industry for long enough time oh dear yeah people are just kind of going through it in the industry is there anything left to do we're meeting the guardian tomorrow there won't be any time for sightseeing that's enough fun for today time to rest it was a long day today all i need is a hot shower and a good night's sleep wait didn't someone mention a pillow fight oh i like that that's an option <laughs> yeah about time <laughs> let's get to bed early and save our energy ah i sense the next few days could be tiring oh boy well i'm off to my room then Express lights off! We'll reconvene with this pillow fight at a later juncture. Be prepared, March 7th. Oh, this is a nice little room. Oh, collect. What's this? Oh, tea time menu. Okay, we'll take that. Investigate. Without a doubt, what's in front of you is a closet. It is, based on all the signals coming from your sensory organs, a perfect closet. Design, capacity, tactility, build quality, and scent. No matter how you look at it, you can't possibly think of a better closet. Wait a minute. Scent? How is scent a measurement for how good a closet is? Doesn't matter. It smells good. And it's not an odor of typical sandalwood or any other natural material. Rather, it is miraculously cleansing scent that is completely artificial. A marvel of chemical engineering it is so alluring that all you want is to get in the closet and let your whole body soak in its scent who am i talking to am i talking to like the voices in my head my inner demons am i talking to this freaking cancer inside of me the stellaron who am i having this conversation with resist the lethal temptation whatever i'm going in here i come closet bro i am on one right now i need to be evaluated <laughs> Left foot, right foot, turn around, take a deep breath. Darn it, why a deep breath? You wanna sneeze, but manage to suppress it. Stand firm, and then close the door in one smooth move, bang. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, you've now been merged with the universe's most perfect closet as a single entity. Damn bro, we are one with the closet. We are one with the trash. All we need now is to put the trash in the closet and we will truly be like unified with the universe. But honestly, your mood is far from reaching the state of excitement. Perhaps you only need more time to comprehend the subtle wonder of it all. Hmm, this place might seem a little too dark for you. Guess you will eventually get used to it, right? Dark Knight gifted me a set of dark eyes. Ha, that's the spirit. Give it more time. Adapt to the dark environment, AKA hello darkness, my old friend. Trust yourself. Just wait a little longer. Something more interesting than this pitch darkness will occur. It's guaranteed to be real. <laughs> wait, what, what is that? <laughs> wait, did you hear that? Someone's high heels. Bro, it's gonna be the fucking maid. She's gonna come into my room. She's doing some cleaning and then she's gonna open the closet. <laughs> And I'm just gonna, like, how do I explain myself, bro? It's just someone walking in the corridor. You've got to change your nihilistic view on life, pal. No, it's not the sound of human footsteps. That's the devil. Nani the fuck? Hello? The Goth Hotel's devil? Yes, yes, now you finally get it. That's the Goth Hotel's resident devil. It inhabits the dirty, unattended small attics, specifically feeding on innocent and vulnerable outsiders. It picked the wrong opponent to mess with this time. After all, you are the universally renowned trash blazer, the guardian deity of the Herda Station, the doomsday beasts 
Um, Doom, the keeper of trash lore. Today is the day you purge evil for the greater good. It doesn't seem to be that dark in the closet. The light of valor illuminates your surroundings. Wow. Bro, I am an embarrassment. <laughs> What am I doing? Why am I in the closet in a hotel? I'm here to save the freaking planet from imminent doom. Room service. Is anyone in there? I literally called that. Ha, there it is. All hotel devils love to disguise themselves as room service. Such a cliche. You won't be easily fooled by that. Your mind is stronger than those city walls built by Klipoth. You are prepared. I'm literally going to kill this room service lady. I'm going to come in now, okay? Now, devil, meet your giant. Bro, I'm literally about to commit murder. Die, you hotel devil. Ah, what the heck? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Guys, I think I just let my intrusive thoughts win. I literally listened to the voice in my head, and I think I just killed that lady. You won. The hotel's devil is now banished, and this land is now purified. I need to be stopped. The devil seems to have left something behind. Take it as your reward for your intrepidity. Why am I being praised for this? This is some questionable behavior that I'm displaying. I have intrusive thoughts that I'm literally giving into. I think I killed that freaking room service lady. Hello? I don't even want to go to bed now. What the heck? March 7th is literally just big sleeping. Don Hung is literally listening for anyone who might be after him. And I'm in my room acting up. <laughs> Actual intrusive thoughts. <laughs> Why is this happening? <laughs> it is the voice of the Stellaron. Who are you? What are you? Wait, does she have a Stellaron in her? We are allies. Oh my god, this is giving me meta vibes. The meta from RVB. What do you want? To Oh, this is so eerie. Ah, it's like the little, like, childlike voice. That's what's doing it for me. I like it. The effect is cool, but it's eerie. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm about to make quick work of this next freaking room service attendant person. Oh, my God. Hey, did you hear that? Oh, uh, wait, they heard it too? There's a group of silver main guards at the entrance. Uh-oh. And I don't think they're here to say hi. Oh, God. What is happening? Also, it said teenage Cocolia. So, like, was that a moment of the past? Uh, if this is our escort, it's less friendly than I was expecting. Yo, Japard, what's going on, my dude? Maybe they're not here for us? Yeah, I'm sure they're here for us, bro. We're the main character. I guess we'll have to find out. Let's go and meet them. Uh-oh. We won't know until we're down there. They're like, hey, we heard you're the cancer of the world. We don't want your kind here. Get out of here. Hey. Commander Bronya is waiting for you all down below. Oh. Hurry up and go see her. And no tricks. Oh, Bronya? Okay. Are we in a lot of trouble? Uh-oh. We have to go and see Bronya? Why? What did we do? I didn't do it, okay? Oh, damn. Chat, I might be getting arrested for murder. I just realized I might have just killed somebody. <laughs> and uh, they just found the body in the closet. <laughs> Oh my god. Yo, that's actually huh? too, it's too you. meta. You were there at the fort. Hello, Bronya. Oh, and Pella. I am Bronya Rand, acting commander of the Silvermane Guards. In the name of the Amber Lord in the Highest, and under order of Supreme Guardian Kokolia Rand, Amber Lord. I hereby arrest the suspected infiltrators under the charge of plotting to incite rebellion. It's not a murder charge, okay? It's something else. I didn't do that, okay? I have no idea what you're talking about. I didn't commit any crime. As agent of the Supreme Guardian, I hear with temporarily strip you of your freedom of action and speech. What? When you are tried by the adjudication panel, you will be given the opportunity to defend yourselves against the accusations. Is she reading me my Miranda rights right now? What the hell? What did I do? Resistance will prove futile. You must come with me. Brony, I really don't want to hurt you right now. Please don't do this. Wait a minute. This isn't what we agreed. She said we were going to be escorted to discuss an urgent matter. Yeah, context is really important there, March. This is an orchestrated betrayal, obviously. Yeah, Don Hung's like, ah, we fell for it. Uh-oh. Looks like we've been downgraded to accomplices again. Oh. It seems like it's every third planet.
planet this happened. Is it because of that situation with Sampo? I completely forgot about that guy. That guy really left us out to dry. That's because you always act without thinking. You never have a plan. Damn, Don Hung. Give her a break. All right. Hey, I'm improving. I'm uh, coming up with a plan right now. <laughs> Don Hung, the alley. Wait a minute. Are we going to run down the alley that's like infected with the fragmentum? The one that's been sealed off. Ooh. Yo, March 7th? Actually, seven head. Be ready to make an escape. Ah, uh, shit. Huh? Really? I just wanted to say something. <laughs> it's now or never. Three of a kind. I guess we are a strange trio. It's an old Astral Express escape signal. Oh. Do you play cards? I play Genius Invocation TCG. Two pair. Single. Hey, what are you whispering? Let's get going. He's basically counting down. Ace. Run. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 Yo! That was a Keslana moment right there. Ooh. Have an ice day. Oh my god! <laughs> she was like, bye, Felicia. <laughs> oh shit, they just got finessed. They charged straight in. Also, we literally went into the fragmentum. Escaping into a fragmentum. I don't know if they're overconfident or just eager for death. Oh my god. It would seem that Mother's judgment was correct. Should we report them as missing or <laughs> deceased? MIA. The Supreme Guardian's order was to arrest them. We cannot abandon our pursuit just because they fled into a sealed off area. Oh man. I must ascertain their fate with my own eyes. Oh shit, she's going in? Yes, ma'am. Damn, what a Directed baddie. all threats to Bellabog security. That is what I must do. The slow motion walk away, you love to see it. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Is this walk away just going to keep happening? What if I don't press anything? Is, is she just going to walk all the way back to Kakoli? <laughs> hold on. I want to see how long this walk animation is going to go before I press anything. <laughs> okay. I was like, wait, how long is this going to go on for? Oh my God. What are we doing? What is happening? Brody is a baddie though. She is so beautiful. brave enough to follow us. Freedom. Famous last words, March. Serves them right. Better luck next. That was risky. Great work. <laughs> it was a team effort. True. We caught them by surprise. Nothing more. They'll be in pursuit soon enough. Let's follow the path. We need to guarantee our own safety before making any further plans. True. Oh, yeah. All this corrosion. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, it's like a fire monster. Oh. So, what happened back there? Why did the Supreme Guardian send people to arrest us? Yeah. Imagine launching a surprise attack when your enemy is fast asleep. Uh, uh, the cheek. <laughs> that woman had a troubling aura. Mm. Our instincts were. That's correct. the daughter of Kakolia. She's probably under a lot of pressure to perform and maintain her. Oh, there's a chest right here. And like maintain order under like the leadership of her mom. So it's definitely a Bronya moment, too. All right, what is this? Investigate. Supreme Guardian Tatiana delivers an important speech. Who's Tatiana? I thought the Supreme Guardian was Kakolia. Okay, there's a lot of lore about this. Madam Alexandra. All right, I'm gonna have to follow up on all of this stuff later. Oh, actually, it goes into my archive. So you know what? I'll tally all of this stuff now and then I'll read it on the train later. Brothers in court, goth mansion sealed temporarily. Uh-oh. The incident of Austin's funeral? It was a death in the family, so the place closed down temporarily. Wow, they're giving a lot of rich history to this place. I really appreciate that. Dire wolf sighting, Supreme Guardian enforces curfew. Dire wolves, AKA like rift hounds? What's going on? Oh shit. Look at these giant fire lord dudes oh they're level 20 as well oh no i got ambushed my attack didn't finish all right these guys are the same level as me let's do this real quick everything is ordained by the stars that's literally a line out of mona i oh, swear stars. to god everything is ordained by the stars that's literally a mona moment Chapard, freeze these guys please i beg there we go giant chicken moment let's go we're gaming bye <laughs> That's so good. There we go. <gasps> I just realized Zilla has 8 HP. Oh no. I'm getting burned alive. Oh my. There's a. I have to use Japard's shield after this. Oh dear. Help me out, my dude. Never falters. Oh boy. That 222 shield. I'm going to need that. I'll tell you. Oh god. We have ice. I'm going to freeze one of these guys. All right, that's good. I'm feeling the pain of that ambush now. All right, follow up. Yeah, we'll do that. I really need Japard to break these guys. 
Nice. So you are afraid of me. Ooh, always come prepared. I wonder what that was. Oh, the dude, this is this is not the best fight. <laughs> Thank God it's over. Oh man, that ambush real. And they were formidable. No wonder. Hold up. Ambush. Okay. I mean, I needed to get the achievement, but it could have been under like an easier fight. That was kind of stressful. Can't see behind. So we got that. Obtained three ancient coins. I guess we got that during today's adventure. A character with five or more buffs at the beginning of the turn. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of buffs. Jesus. What the heck? There's a Calyx over here? What Calyx is this one? Yeah, this one gives weapon experience and money. The other one gives character experience and money. Nice. Okay. That's actually really good. So I have another one unlocked. I got to put Don Hung back in, I think. It's a lot of wind types right now. What the heck is this? Okay, first off. Oh, can we unlock this? No. Controller. Oh, wait. Oh, you can unlock it. Yo, let's go. I saw that coming. I was like, mm. I wonder if this unlocks to make the shortcut shorter. Nice. Finally, I have a wind character again. Thank God. Look at him. Easy. Let's go. This is the fucking dream team right here. I literally took Don Hung out super early, but he's actually really useful this early on. Oh, there's another fire guy over there. There's a chest right here. I'm going to grab this. A little. Oh, wait. There are silver main guards here. Oh, shit. Careful not to alert them. Bro, what do you mean? I could just... I'm gonna body these Must people. Must have entered from another direction to cut us off. Yeah. We should avoid an open conflict. I would much rather fight these guys than the fire knight on the other side, but okay. <laughs> we gotta find our way back around. All right, I'm gonna go this way, I guess. Unlock this. And then... Uh, it doesn't seem like there's any way to open this gate. Whoa. Ooh, check this mechanism out. Look familiar. March 7th. Are you I literally just did that down the hall. We saw one in Serval's workshop. Oh, do we have to use the puzzle for this? Damn, they're debating me. They're hitting me with the freaking puzzle mini game now. Now I have to work my brain. All right. Wow, that was easy. Yep. Like, why is that even there, bro? <laughs> Looking for a friend. All Billabog citizens. Hello. Aw. Can call me Wallace. I really hope I can have the time to read all of this at some point. Mm, I don't see a switch for the gate. Uh, over there. Yeah, right by Mr. Hellman himself. There's a monster in the area. <laughs> we'll need to deal with it first. Damn, bro. He's like, it's really toasty out here. Okay, open the wheel. Consumable. Bro, I don't need no consumable. Get that shit out of my face. Upon use, increase attack of all allies by 5% with an extra 170 to attack for the next turn. Bruh, do I have to? It looks like I have to. All right, guys, I'm gonna be even more broken than I already am. I guess consumables for the future. I've never used consumables in Genshin. I don't know if it'll be different for like a turn-based game. It might be more applicable for what I need it for. Oh! What is that? Look for circuit structure. Oh, what the hell? I can actually like hack into this thing. Yo, dude, this is kind of cool. All right, let's see. Wait. Hold up. There we go. Nice. P -p -p please, please follow the instructions on the p -p -p panel and confirm the exploration p -p -p path. Okay, let me have a look at the control panel. Oh God, did I just... What is that? <laughs> Did I just get a freaking dr- Uh... Hello, sir. <laughs> it's a fucking big-ass monster. What level? Level 20. Physical, wind, and ice. Okay, I got this. We're gaming. Let's get this punk. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. He's just a bigger target. In the name of Landau. And I got shields. Don Hung, pop off, king. Wanna see what I can do? All right, freeze. Oh, nice. And he loses his entire turn. I love it. Yo, this music? Hold up. I heard a little bit of the vocals in that. There it is. Easy clap, boys. Bop. Hold on, Dunhung. See, so you gotta be really quick to time that so you get the follow-up. If you wait too long, the enemy will get their turn. Nice. I think this is my first precious chest. A little oh. goes a long way. Hell yeah, dude. I did not know there were precious chests in the game. And we got a basic bitch chest too. Why not? I'll take it. All right, so we got to follow this drone. Is this like a Sealy or something? Even though it's on a very linear path, I guess I'll follow it. Where you going, little guy? What are you leading me to? Oh my God, trash can. Your lore, I'm a big fan. I'm caught up in a lot of nonsense right now. I'm about to be arrested, but I just want to say you might be trash to everyone else, but you're actually a fucking king to me. I worship the ground that you serve to protect the world from trash with. All right, I love you, dude. Stay strong. Pop off, king. Oh my God, I'm a big fan. <laughs> it's getting a little ridiculous here. 
Hey, let's go. Thank you, Seely. The automaton flew away on its own. Bro, yo, I'm a huge fan. Y'all are literally doing God's work. Yo, how do I join the path of trash? I would love to join your Aeon path and be a believer, an actual follower. Dude, they got the dumpster too? A two for one special? I was dumpster diving before it was cool. <laughs> Don Hung is actually cracked. Like, what the hell? Why wasn't I using this man the whole time? Zila's the five star. Zila's the limited banner character, but I feel like she's not as applicable to some of these encounters. So Don Hung is just more efficient at the moment. All right, here we go. Ooh, cutscene. Oh, we got to jump through. Careful. She really caught up oh, with damn. Us. She came through. We had time to set up an ambush. God damn. <sighs> You dare underestimate me? She used her ultimate. Even That's what happened. Even suffered fragmentum corrosion, this is still part of Bellabog. It was our home. The guards know this place like the back of their hand. Yo, you're disrespecting our turf. Enough, cat and mouse. Drop your weapons and come with me. Bronya, please. I Come on, you're Matushka. She's not all there. Oh, you're such a nuisance. <gasps> Just what crime are we supposed to have committed again? It better be worth you following us all the way out here. Hmm. My orders are to arrest you. It is for the adjudication panel to present you with the nature and penalty of your alleged crimes. Yeah, but Brona, what if you just didn't? What if you believed us? Maybe you think outside of the jurisdiction. Think outside of the law. Do the right thing. Do the trash thing. Be one with the trash. Join us. It's so liberating. You saw us yesterday. Do you remember? Madam Kokolia received us as honored guests. Yeah, you literally walked out the room when you saw us. How can such a drastic change have occurred in the course of one night. The Madam Guardian investigated your backgrounds. She summoned me last night to tell me that you had deceived her. Uh your identities and purpose here are counterfeit. You seek to overthrow the rule of the architects. All right, someone's actually lying. Huh, what a two-faced hag. <laughs> Yeah, okay, you know what? You can't say that. Kakolia is hot as fuck. She is no hag. Publicly insulting the Supreme Guardian only elevates the seriousness of your crimes. Throw down your arms and surrender. Also, you just insulted Bronia's mother. Like, what the hell? You really think she's gonna let that slide? We're wasting our words, March. At least one thing is clear. Mmm. We mustn't be caught. Ah, uh, man, are we gonna throw down with Bronia? Well, if there's no escape... Then maybe it's time we gave them a taste of Astral Express medicine. Bro, are we gonna fight every authority figure here? We fought Japard. Are we gonna have to fight Bronya now too? And Kokolia eventually. Japard, slap some sense into your men. There you go. Easy clap. Damn, that was it. Oh my god, March, you're cracked. Ooh. Holy mo- Oh my god! Lady Bronya. Hmm. She just saved your ass, dude. I'll handle these evil doers. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Holy! She just pulled out the piece. <laughs> oh no! Don't shoot your part. I'm on your side. Oh Move no. Carefully. They hit me with the best character in the game, bro. Successor to Bellabog's guardian and the commander of the Silvermane guards. Bronia's toughness cannot be depleted while there are enemies on the field. Okay, so I got to take out these goons first. Dude, look at her. She is radiating right now. I love it. Who invited you? Brona's weakness protection has been... Okay, this is going to hurt me more than it hurts you, I promise. <laughs> and then I'm going to hit you with two ults. Here, have some KFC chicken. The truth of life and death. Apparently, it's not really good for you, but it's finger licking good, I promise. The sanctuary <laughs> is but a vision. <laughs> oh, Bronya, I'm so sorry. That looks like it hurt. This Jeez. Bronya, I'm so sorry. I love you so much. You don't deserve this, queen. Oh, man. It do be like that, gamers. Oh, damn. We took her out. This girl's pretty strong. Hey, Don Hung, maybe now's a good time to show off your secret strength? I don't know about you guys, but Don Hung gives me big Zhao vibes. He's given me big Zhao vibes since I've seen him. Like, his design, the fact that he uses, like, a spear as well. He's green. You first. Also, what do you mean by secret strength? You're no fun. Intruders, give it up. You will be guaranteed a fair trial. I don't know about that, Bronya. Ooh, sorry. Oh! I didn't mean to ruin the intent of the moment oh my god this guy is gonna get us in so much trouble oh shit what is this sampo i can't breathe sampo koski oh my god i have one thing to say bro sampo never lets friends who've helped him come to harm wait 
Is he helping us? I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. Was that like sleeping powder or something, or they sleep gas? Suffer, sacrifice and die because of my order. Young Cacolia. What the hell? Oh my goodness, dude. The voice of the Stellaron. This shit's so freaky. What about the Underworlders? They will lose the protection of the Architects. They will see me. Uh oh. As a tyrant. <laughs> Hello, Ironwood. Long time no see. Don't listen to that. It's literally the voice of cancer. Uh oh. Damn, bro. They literally like you want eternity, right? I love the sound effect of the voice. I understand. Kakolia, no, you got jabated. Uh, come on, those toys of yours aren't that Also, dangerous. are we tapping into the other Stellaron because we have the Stellaron in us? Both times we were unconscious when we had those visions. One time we were sleeping and that time we got knocked out. And it's like we are connecting with another Stellaron's memories almost. Uh, then why hasn't she woken up yet? What do you mean? I'm right here. Because she sounds- Oh my God, Natasha! <laughs> Didn't you hear her sleep talking? Holy oh, shit! Child. Sounded like a bad nightmare. I just realized it's Natasha! Also, is that Elizabeth Maxwell? Tell me the truth, Sampo. What are you gonna do about the overworld, girl? That's Rosaria's VA! That's Winter Schnee! Oh my god! Elizabeth is in this game too! Pog! What am I gonna do about her? Why, wait for the opportunity. Holy and moly. We're the rest of them, of course. <laughs> Hey, come on. What's with the... Why does Elizabeth Maxwell voice all the characters with, like, big mommy energy? Just saying. You're a bad liar, Sam Pokoski. Oh, my God. She's finally here. What? I didn't mean to bring her along. The smoke was too dense. I was in a daze before I knew it. I'd somehow dragged her down here, too. Wait, down here? Are we in the underworld? What are you up to, Sampo? Why do you insist on getting caught up in overworld affairs that have nothing to do with you? If it's a whole lot more attention from wild wildfire you want uh oh you're going about it the right way dude this guy saved us i'm still kind of like iffy about him but like he did save us so i guess i owe you that much hey now sampo koski's primary concern is taking care of his friends mm -hmm. these guys scratch my back how could i live with myself if i didn't scratch there i just want to point out the only reason that we got into that situation is because of him so him getting us out of that situation is like well yeah you should have we were in it because of you in the first place and another thing where does wildfire get off assuming <laughs> that these fine folks won't come in useful to them huh mm. <laughs> you never know. which is why you've set them loose in the underground come on accidents happen i'll have them rounded up in no time he's got like the charisma and attitude of like ito and child i swear that girl get her back as soon as possible then don't let her out of your sight Hold on, the what? The Overground has been sealed off for over 10 years now. The children won't even remember what Overgrounders look like. Uh-oh. If a girl in a silver main guard uniform suddenly shows up. That girl get her back as soon as possible? Wait, what happened? Wait, where's Don Hung in March 7th? What would Wildfire do with her? What would they do with you? I get it. I guess Wildfire is a group. Setting off right now. I'll have to trouble you to look after them while I'm gone, ma'am. Sure thing, buddy. See ya. Yo, nice little music change up here for the underworld. Hey, sleepyhead. <laughs> Looks like you're awake. Hello, ma'am. Please take care of me. Oh, my God. Yo, Trailblaze level 15. Oh, Natasha's clinic. Let's grab all these little bits and bobs of collectibles. Oh, my God. I'm literally running up in here and taking all of her books. Dreamland analysis. Natasha's list. Oh, another one over here. Musician of Bellabog volume one. I literally just got the entire volume. Oh, right here. Musician of Bellabog true ending. I literally got like the entire volume. Open the character menu to increase character's level. Wait, I can ascend? Oh shit, I just hit ascension. Yo, Pog, I'm about to be goaded. Let's go. Oh my God, level 30 cap now? Holy moly. Don Hung, you'll be my first level 30, my boy. I'm hoping that you continue to pop off and do great things for me. Oh, they have it like in Genshin. They give you a standard pass. Good shit. That's three passes per character. Talk to the unfamiliar woman and find out what's going on. How are you feeling? 
Any aches or pains? Good. Uh, just the one in my heart you for you. For a while, I was beginning to worry. You were saying some strange things. Oh god, we're Stellaron sleep talking. Now that you're awake, you should probably try moving your limbs. I'm Natasha, a doctor in the underground. You've already spent a day in my clinic. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Murder of Birds. Nice to meet you too. You're very polite. Thank you. Sampo's gone to clear up a mess of his own making. <laughs> so I'm looking after you in the meantime. Based on your current state, oh. I don't think there's any cause for alarm. You seem perfectly healthy. Thank you. So if you don't mind, I'll go and take a look at the other patients. All right. Why did I pass out? Yeah, he must have hit me with like some sleep powder or something. Sampo just told me that you lost consciousness. Oh. It didn't say why. Still, I'll wager it had something to do with him. Yeah. He's always tinkering with his I was going to say, I assume it was the smoke. Anyway, the opinion of the clinic is that none of you have come to harm. Okay. People were following us. Sampo told me. Don't worry. The Silvermane guards won't follow you below ground. We've been cut off from the surface for many years. Mm. Even when things were at their worst down here, they never showed. Yeah, so this is the mantle part of Atlas. Gosh, there's so many references that I'm immediately connecting this game to. It's kind of crazy. Of course, I don't know the whole story behind why the architects ordered the lockdown. Mm. Who knows? Thanks to you, they might finally be about to lift it. Something that wildfires wanted to achieve for a long time now. If that Stellaron is meant to sow chaos and destruction, and like, I assume that they would sow division amongst the people. I think it was the Stellaron that convinced Kakolia to cut off connections with the underworld. And that's why these people, these people look like they're like living in poverty practically. What's our medical bill? Oh, please, you needn't worry. Bam. You've just been asleep for a while. I barely had to lift a finger. I might have exaggerated your condition for Sampo's years. Oh. But that guy owes me. He better bring me back some medicine. Literally, Rosaria transcended in this game, I'm telling you. Where are my friends? They've been up for a while already. The young guy with the dark hair left first. He went with Sampo. Okay, so Don Hung's with Sampo? Your rowdier friend <laughs> took off soon after waking up. Aw. I imagine she's taking a stroll nearby. All right, March. As for the girl in the Silvermane guard uniform. Oh? I told Sampo to watch her, but it seems that he left his post and she made a run for Oh, okay, it. so Bronya got away. All right. Who is this Sampo anyways? Good question. <laughs> He's a man of mystery. Mm-hmm. He claims to be a simple cross-border businessman. <laughs> Not that there's much to interest an overworlder down here. Interesting. Either way, he's got a surprising number of connections. We met him in the overworld, but he's also chilling in the underworld. I've managed to secure more than a few urgent medical supplies through him, and he's been a big help oh. to Wildfire. In any case, I don't think his intentions are sinister. Uh, yeah, so when we saw him in the overworld, he was talking about trying to find artifacts to sell off. So I wonder if he goes up top to to get like these resources and then sells them down here because he knows these people are running off of scarce materials. I wonder if he's just like trying to make a come up. Also, what's this, this wildfire? I keep hearing about this. It's a grassroots organization. Okay. Think of it as the Silvermane Guards of the Underground. Yep. But less stone-hearted. <laughs> the happy huntresses, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> thank you, Dr. Natasha. No need to thank me. Hmm. It's a doctor's duty to heal. I gotta find March 7th and Dan Hung. All right. But where should I start? Also, it's super weird that I hear the female Trash Blazer's voice when I'm in Gepard's body right now. <laughs> All right, so I think I have the battle pass. Oh, wait, hold on. Trailblazer will. Oh, I get another 10 pull. Let's go. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, because I hit Trailblazer level 15. I think that's everything that I can interact with so far. All right, let's go outside and see what's up. Boulder Town. Yo, that sounds kind of badass. What the heck? It's literally all rocks. Yeah, this is how I kind of envisioned it. Huge mantle vibes. I wouldn't be surprised if Honkai Star Rail are fans of Ruby at this point. I see you watched volume seven and eight there, Hoyoverse. <laughs> oh, oh, it's Hook. Oh my goodness. This is too good, man. March 7th is over there talking to the little kids, talking to Hook. Oh, this place looks awesome. Dude, literally Mantle and Atlas. I love the aesthetic. I love this so much. This is so awesome. I think I'm going to take a short little intermission right here. I want to look around this place too before we get any further. Oh, also, this is the knockout place. I think there's going to be an event tied to this in a couple weeks for version 1.0. This looks like the actual fight club of the game. But uh, yeah, I'm going to take a short little intermission. 
and then we're gonna continue on i think i'm supposed to be getting my daily quest relatively soon so i'm, I'm hoping that we get that in this next session that we're gonna be getting into but the plot is thickening this whole stellaron situation is very fascinating it seems like we're kind of resonating with it because we ourselves have a stellaron within us or we're even the stellaron given consciousness through the receptacle that they're in bronia was great i'm wondering how soon we're gonna see her again and how this entire conflict is gonna happen because we were in the good old upper room and now we're in the basement we got to figure out what's what and uh, we'll get to that relatively soon